Hi folks and welcome to this new video. Today I'm going to test uh, again Android Studio. As you guys can see on my screen, a couple days ago there was a new Android emulator emulator preview released. That's a pre-release. Uh, keep that in mind, this version is not ready for prime time yet, but it should work on the new Apple M1 chip. So as always guys, I'm just gonna going to download the preview DMG, install it and just uh, have a look if it works or not. Without further ado, let's just download uh, the emulator preview and I will catch you when the download is finished. Alright, so the download is finished now. As you guys have seen here on the screen, the saying or releasing uh, that this thing has pretty rough edges and it has a lot of rough edges. Um, so keep that in mind. As I said before, it's probably not ready for prime time. Obviously it's a pre-release, but it should give us a taste where the direction they are heading is. All right, so the emulator is there. Just uh, drag it over into the applications folder as stated in the uh, preview description. All right, now let's open up and your emulator. Let's see if uh, IntelliSense not yet ready. So let's hop over to the applications folder. Let's start the emulator. I guess there is a security check on the first startup again. So it's jumping up and down. The do say the first launch may take a while. So do not get frustrated or whatever. Um, I guess it, it takes quite a while to start, especially first time. All right, now it cannot be open because uh, developer cannot be certified, sure. I guess you can skip the check if you open up the context menu and then hit open open anyways here we go couldn't automatically detect an adb binary simulator functionality will not work until the custom path 2 is added this can be done in extended controls it was quite quite a lot to read all right so i yeah as you guys see android is firing up uh, it's running in the emulator. Let's just hop over to some Google stuff, I would say, um, to my portfolio, as you guys have seen in my previous video. Let's see if, is the browser working or not? I'm pretty sure you can set something over there or not. Settings, I'm an iOS user. Keep that in mind, so is that Wi-Fi? Yeah, yeah, it is Wi-Fi. I, I guess Wi-Fi is just path through, through the emulator, but it seems to be not the case. All right, interesting. Let's open up the gallery. Sure, there is no. Oh yeah, interesting. It's not using uh, the the webcam from a MacBook. I'll take a picture. Just a lot of pixels. All right. So what what can we test here? All right, so just multitasking. Okay. It's not possible to, to just navigate somewhere. Let's try it again. No, so the connection is not passed through, like in the uh, iOS simulator. And I don't see any any settings where I can change it. You can power it off, I guess, volume up, down. Or we can rotate the phone, as you would expect. You can, okay, shortcuts for, for, the, for each buttons. All right. Okay, so next thing is I will download Android Studio and see if I can start a um, demo application and get it running on the Android emulator. So guys, I will catch you when I install it and download Android Studio. I will not go through this process as I have already a video where I just downloaded and installed the Android Studio. So guys, catch you a little bit later. All right, uh, as we have seen before, WebView doesn't work. I guess it means that you cannot browse the internet, no sound, no device scans, video codecs not working, 32-bit ARM apps won't work, graphic glitches and some welcome apps. So sure, um, yeah, it's a preview, a lot of glitches, uh, but at least you can start it and you see that there is something uh, happening to, to those who need an Android emulator for their daily work. But as I often said, it's it's definitely not ready for, for prime time at this point. All right, guys, long story short, I just made it. 
uh, you have to choose a virtual device because Android Studio is detecting there is an emulator running, so that was the issue. You don't have to create a new device that, that won't work at this moment in time. I just start the emulator and then select the virtual device, run the application, you can see. And the application is actually running at the moment, so I can stop it there, but I won't. And you see, there is the uh, demo application from the very first video where we could not run this uh, this application because there was no emulator device available uh, just on your regular connected Android phone. It probably worked, but I don't have an Android phone to test that functionality out. So, guys, I can happily report that there is a first step for you that are relying on Android Studio, developing for Android with these environment there is progress android emulator now is running uh, keep in mind there are very very much limitations as you see here uh, probably are glitches different parts of your uh, emulating system won't work but for the first time ever you can actually start the application and do something with it so guys i hope you enjoyed the video i will try to keep up with new developments in this Android emulator space and I hope you catch you in the next one. If you do have any wishes for future videos Please let me know in the comments below and have a good day. Bye